redoing my video earlier. Some of you might have seen my talk and walk. I only recorded half of it, so you guys missed the good parts. Uh, so I'm coming to you again to talk about International Women's Day. So thank you to all the women that are in my life, all the support that I have gotten and I know will continue to get. So thinking about us as women and 100 years ago um, in 2020 was when uh, we actually got the right to vote. Uh, you see all the fun stuff with the like, women's suffrage. Fun, fun. I use that loosely. Um, all the interesting stuff uh, about that and how much we've made progress in 100 years and also thinking how much progress we've made in just a couple of generations um, as well. My mom mentions uh, sometimes that she only had a couple options when she was graduating high school, right? She could be a mom, she could be a secretary, or she could be a nurse. There really wasn't other options. Think about it now in 2023. We could be and do anything we want uh, to, to do. Um, but part of that is we need to recognize that we need to start cheering each other on instead of kind of putting each other down. We need to be a sisterhood. I'm involved in a sisterhood and it's um, amazing to be in a uh, space where we cheer each other on and we support each other and we help each other grow versus where society has kind of said, hey, you need to be a victim and you guys can bond over being a victim and not being able to kind of get through things on your own. You need someone to help you with this and you no, we're going to stand up and be ourselves, right? We want to have our own voice and decide for ourselves really what is best for us and not get kind of sucked into sometimes this compare and despair and the competition. You guys, this life is not a competition. This is about us really celebrating each other and really finding that spirit of sisterhood where we can join together as one. So remember that today on International Women's Day that we need to have that bond we can't keep tearing each other down as women we can't keep letting our stuff come out um, when we're triggered by other people and to recognize some of that resentment Brene Brown um, I don't have the exact quote so uh, if you look it up and I'm a little off forgive me but she said it was resentment and really think about this resentment isn't that I'm mad at you because of what you're not doing I'm actually mad at you because of what you get to do, right? Like, so, ah, oh, I get to sit around and do nothing today. I'm just chilling on the couch. And you're like, I'm running around everywhere. I gotta take the kids here. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I got bills to pay. Are you really mad at her because she isn't working as hard as you are? No, you're mad at her because she gets to take a rest break. Guess what? She chose that, right? Some days you need to run around and do stuff. Some days you need to take that rest break. Think of Mary and Martha in the Bible as well, right? One chose to be at Jesus' feet and be in that moment, and the other one was running around preparing everything. And um, what, what, what are you going to choose that way? Uh, the verse also is to encourage and build each other up, right? We need to be in that spot of encouraging and supporting. And you know, the saying goes, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. But if that's the case, Usually a little thought process and flip it. If you're thinking of something kind of negative, maybe um, a little condescending or judgy, stop and think, where is that coming from? Like, oh, like that triggered something in me and it really is me that has the issue. It has nothing to do with the other person. Um, so really recognize that and flip it, right? I love what you're doing. I love that you're able to do that. And then when you really start to think about it and reflect on things, why can't I do that too? Was that little bitterness in there of resentment of why? Why why can't I why can't I do that? Really ask yourself. You can do anything you want to do. This is 2023. Go out there and be who you're supposed to be. Encourage and build each other up. We want to get to a place where we're not stuck in survival mode all the time. We want to have all of us thriving, right? It doesn't just have to be one out of the crowd. It can be all of us. So get out there and thrive and we want to try to get to this we're not trying. We are going to get to all of us having that healthy, enjoyable, abundant life. So a uh, modified walk and talk today. I'm Anne, your well-being coach, is always here to guide um, exhausted female caregivers to transform their burnout so we do more than just survive. We actually thrive. So get out and thrive. Go for a walk. Enjoy this uh, the sunshine. All right, I'll talk to everyone next week.